G'day everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Raid Zero AU and welcome back to another episode of Block Motion, a uh, game that's coming out fairly soon, beginning of uh, beginning of December. And once again, thank you to uh, Daniel Willett, the uh, developer, for uh, providing us with an early copy to have a look at. So this level's called the Cube. I think that's pretty. This is the output zone. I think it's pretty obvious why. So we've got a single cube coming out of here every five cycles, and we need to m turn it into a cube and deliver it. So, let's see if we can do this. Uh, so, first things first, we obviously need these to be coming out. Then we're going to want two of them to be that one waits there. We'll put those there. We can put a welder in. Well, that'll join two of them, so that'll make a quarter of the... Right, well then you need to come along. So that's going to join them lengthwise there. So then we need to join two of those together. Uh, okay. And yeah, we're going to do that. Hmm. Well, I guess what we could do is that's going to fall off there. Oop. That could then come along here. We want to join two of those together. That's going to be lengthwise there. That's going to come along lengthwise. At which point we're going to need to stop it. That's not going to work, is it? lot. Okay, so that drops down there, that comes along, and then we probably want it to drop another one. But at this point, we want it to stay there. And then here, So it's going to come along, it's going to drop down, and then another one's going to come along and go on top. So here, then we can put a welder there, and there, and that'll weld the two. And then I need it to move. After it's done that, it needs to move. So I reckon the best way to do that would be a 
fill her in there. So we've got one there, and then there's going to be another one here. So then we stick a conveyor here. Which will then push it over. And that will then give us... No, that's not going to work, because this is going to block. Mm -hmm. This needs to come over one. In fact, what that needs to do is that needs to come over this side. So those are going to drop down there. Whoop, that was a bit too high. There. No, take that one out. Conveyor. Still not right, because that's going to drop, or is it? It's going to drop down, it's going to be two, two. Yep, that's fine. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That should, that should work okay. I think. Uh, and then that pushes it, that'll then push it onto there and onto these two blocks where it'll stop. Okay. We put that in there and then we put another conveyor. Like that to push it over here. And then we put a filler in there. I'm thinking that's thing going to come down. It's going to weld those two together. We might just put a filler in there just, just to make sense of it. So the first one's going to drop down. And then the second one's going to move on top. That's too low. That needs to come up another one. like that because the first one we don't want it to move along we want that to drop down second one to go on top they get welded together and then that pushes it onto there that then pushes it onto there at which point Is it there? There. At that point, we've got two of those. So we go like that, and we put a welder in there and there. They're going to work, maybe. And then that's going to come along. here but we've got to take it up at some stage so probably here put a filler in and that's going to move it up one because we need to get it up here. No. That way. 
So we need that to go up to there. So the only way to do that is to put some fillers here. Remembering that it's going to be... One, two... Then we're going to want a conveyor there to push it across onto that. Does that work? Possibly just put another one in there. Like that. Like that. So, does that work? These two get joined here. Then they drop on, drops onto there. It's a double. Comes along, falls down. Second one comes along, lands on top gets welded this one drags it across onto here which will then force it onto these two which this one here will then force it across here next one to come along will force the both of them across it'll weld those two at which point we need this one here to drag it onto the other one, there. Like so. I think that might work. Let's give it a try. Alright, pressing P. Right, so that one goes there. Right, welds it. That one drops down. There. We get the second one. Yep, there we go. Now, that's not... Okay, that doesn't quite work. It was close, but no cigar. And it was because of this. We need that to go up another level. Like so. That should now work, I think. Try it. Comes across, seals those two together. That one comes across, seals that. That comes up, moves it across, and boom! We've got it. We might just zoom out a bit so we can see it in action. Boom. Okay. We will move on to the next one. Okay, welcome back everyone. So this one's called the checkerboard. I think the uh I think everything's in the title. So we've got black coming out that side and white coming out that side, each of them every five cycles. Okay. So I think this one's purely mainly gonna be about timing more than anything else. So, what we'll do is we'll start to bring these across here, and then these ones, start to bring them across here, 
Now, what we want is we want this one to arrive after this one, but not more than five after it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could probably bring this one over a bit more. Uh, now, what we want to do is. Probably do it here. I think. So, this one can come all the way over here and then it will stop there. Now, put a filler. Put a filler there. Followed by a welder and a welder. We can just stick another filler in there. Now this one here, basically what we then need to do is that needs to just go on to that one. So what we want is the white one to come along, stop there. Black one to come along, that'll push it along, they'll get welded. Next thing will be a white one. Push it along, get welded. Hmm. I think what I might do is I might take these back a bit. I think I might have. Now it is purely going to be timing on this. Uh, we still need those. No, we don't. We want fillers. There's one, two, three, and we want five. Two, three, five. One, two, three, four. No, that's one, two, three, four. And then here, we can have another one of those to drag it out of the way. Okay. This one needs to come along here. Ooh, not that far. To there. And then we put the welders in there. So they're going to weld the bottom layer. And the only concern I've got is this is very short. So we're probably going to have to put at least a couple of fillers in here. I think. To get the timing right. So that basically, because that's travelling a lot further than that. Okay, now, once we get here, what we want to do is, hmm. where are we going to work this? So we need to lift them up and we need to weld them together. Two, three, four. I guess that that lines up with that. So we're gonna wanna be here. We're going to want to We're gonna want that to lift it up one. And then as the next one comes in, is that? 
be able to get away with that. Or can we? That's too high, isn't it? That's not going to let me get that through. Hmm. I know. Why don't we put the welders in here like that and then here not going to work. I'll show you what I mean. Basically this we're going to come off come across problems with this. Even if the timing's right and we get that bottom layer done, it'll come along and if we move that up No, you know what? That might actually work. Let's keep going. I think this might work. We want that one to move up. And then we want filler. No. And what do we want? One, two, three, four. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. Nah, it's still going to block it. Hmm. It's not going to stay up there, is it? Or is it? What we need to do is we need to get this to move up, but then we need to m be able to move it across. I guess what we could then do is put in, this might still work. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. That comes along, moves up, one, two, three, four. We want to give it space for four. One, two, three, four. It's not going to work. Now that lines up with that. So, two, three, one, two, three, four. Once it hits four, what we then want it to do is we want it to lift up lift it eventually what we want it to do is we want it to move over here
So we want it to move onto that. So it goes one, two, three, and then the fourth one, once it gets wor getting welded at the same time, lifts that up. that up to there, at which point we put a filler in, what's that got, one, two, three, four, and then we put a conveyor in here, to shift it across there to drop it onto that. So at which point it'll then carry it across. Now the only question is, are we blocking anything? I guess there's only one way to find out. And the timing here is going to be critical. We need that first one in there. White to come just before black. If we can get that straight off, then we're right. Let's give it a try. Right, so white gets, no, not quite, not quite, so we probably need one more, one more filler in there, okay, that might be enough, let's see. Right, that lifts up. That lifts up. No, we're too soon. We're lifting it too soon. Okay. So we haven't given enough here. One, two. Because that's lifting, we need to take this one out. And that should be it. Because that one's lifting it up already. Give it a try. So we know the timing's okay down the bottom here. No. Nope. That's bouncing. One, two, three, four. Why doesn't that move across? Alright. Take that one out. Take that one out. We could probably take these ones out. And then all we need to do here is probably just put these in instead because we want it to come up and then move across one two three four right does that do it we're pretty close we know we got those that timing's fine so we're getting the checkerboard That works. Not too happy with the movement of it. I think it could be done more efficiently because it goes all the way up and then comes back down. But, you know what? It works. Happy with that. Happy with that. As I said, probably can be done a little bit more... Uh, 
efficiently. Edit solution. Let's just quickly, one thing I want to try here is... One, two, three, four... Do we need that? I think we do. So that moves up there. So it, do, it definitely needs to be moved over. Yeah, it definitely does need that. That one definitely needs to be in there. Just to shift it across here. Uh, not that one. Uh, to lift it up so that it can be shifted across. What we could do to limit the movement of it is pop that there and then put a filler in. Put those in. They don't count towards the block that you use but just to limit the height that it moves to. Let's just give it a go. See what it does. So it moves up. Moves up. And then this one should... Now see, then that gets stuck there. Why does that get stuck there? Okay, so you can't do that. Alright. Well, we know this works. So, I think I'm gonna, just going to be happy with the fact that it works. Alright, so there's uh, two more from Block Motion. Game coming out early December on Steam. And, um, yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more, think about subscribing, hit the like button. Maybe leave a comment or something. I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero AU, signing out.